Like, that, that hallway on the way to the candle that was full of those skull guys, I, I usually... I usually kill all of them. Or a big chunk of them, anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna have to manipulate the experience. We'll only end up doing it the one time. So it'll add a little bit of time to this dungeon. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and... They'll drop an experience bag. <laughs> Though I think we had that luck already. Or we had all the luck we're gonna get. Woo! He's a little pushy today. Right. So we're gonna go up, we're gonna cancel all the way to... Oh, man. I really needed the... So here's the boss. Simple formula. Woo! Wow. You know, I, I did this earlier just to test. Make sure that all the recording stuff was set up. And he wasn't swinging nearly as often. Okay, but he only gives me 50. Alright, so this is the last... This is the end. You have six crystals and you're supposed to put them in there. You can skip it. Just come back out, go back in. What that's going to do is, oh, any doors you unlock, they're going to res... They're, they're going to be cl uh, still open. But... All the enemies will reset. So what that's going to do is give us the opportunity to earn some more experience. Which I still... Unless we get lucky with a... With an experience bag. Is probably not going to be enough. Tell you what, let's kill one. Again, I right, this is... This is boring. But, it's actually, you can do this later and it makes it, it, there's a way to make it much easier. Uh oh. It's okay, everything reset, including that fairy that we got before. Oh! That's me being greedy. That doesn't normally happen. I just... This is what I get for trying to show you guys cool stuff. I'm not even going to bother. That's why these things here, they're, they're such a pain. Got a couple of skeletons. I'm not going to bother down there. It's, it's too much of a pain to get through the hallway with the skulls. We're going to increase our attack. What we're going to do is we're going to try and get past the 400 again. Ah. But I don't think we're going to. All of the stats in this game, if you see at the top, Sword 3, Magic 1, Life 3, they all go up to 8. So it's possible to be at almost the strongest sword level at the end of the second dungeon. I mean, technically it's possible to do it at the end of this dungeon if you're willing to grind that much because you can obviously just go back in and out, but that's a lot of work. That's a, that's a little more work than we're going to put into it right now. Yeah, this game, it, it, it's... Apparently, it gets a reputation for being difficult. 
it can be a little trying if you're impatient. I mean, the really the the difficulty isn't too bad. It's just it you have to be patient. You have to understand how everything works. Oh. Come on. Not usually that much trouble. Nope. Oh, that's very helpful. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Now we can go to the end. Skip that. Now, when you place the crystal, you're going to get experience. What's going to happen is the experience level is going to go up to, if you see in the top right, four, I have 479 out of the 1,000, which is the next power-up. It will go up to whatever the next power-up is. So what I can do now is focus heavily on the sword. And I think the next sword power-up is 2,000. If I can get to the 2,000, use it. So then I have, uh, the, what is that, the number 5 sword? Because I have number 4 right now, so I'll have the number f the 5th sword. Use the crystal at the end of the second dungeon, which is second palace, which is where we're going to now. It will take me all the way up to, I think it's three or 4,000, which is the next sword power up. You just have to make sure that when you beat the boss and you go to the crystal, that that's the next level. I mean, if if you have one, one experience and you go to the you finish you finish the palace and you place the crystal, and your next thing is nine thousand away, it'll take you all the way to the nine thousand. Alright, careful. Careful. This cave is technically a cut. You can do this with the lights off if you know where everything is, but the bat in the beginning actually gives you kind of... It's kind of a pain. Other than that, it's not too tough. You need that statue in order to get the jump spell. And you have access to the town immediately. So you can actually get the jump spell before you go into the first palace. It just, it doesn't actually help a lot. You know, the palace wasn't designed with it in mind since you're not supposed to have it. Again, there goes the health lady. Go in and get my massage. Uh, the gold old ladies that hang by the house will restore your magic. think this is the house yes now you have that trophy for some reason there was a trophy stolen and it taken to a cave but if you have that the old man will give you the jump spell getting creative with the names there aren't we Can't get out. The old man's got me. Yeah, video games are kind of counterproductive to the idea of safety. You know, we 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 hear about being safe, and it's always, you know, don't go anywhere with strangers, don't go to a weirdo's house or anything, and but the weirdos always have all the upgrades and stuff. No reason. Uh, there's a couple enemies coming up. Or an enemy. Oh no. Another part of the cave. Woo! 
Alright. I will take the magic power up. Because now we're getting... Now we're getting some spells. So now it's, help, it's helpful. You know, nobody's that good with boomerangs. Seriously. Alright. So there, we need the jump spell. Okay, so here... is a fairy. Kind of wish they restored magic, too. This swamp area is dangerous. It's going to hinder your movement. But there's a hell, there's a one up there. Alright. No! Oh. Every time. Okay. I think everybody is aware of this, but... Hey, I got it right! Sorry, I never get that right on the first try. I can't get through here yet. Yeah, I think there's a, there is a boulder blocking that. It's too bad because there's a great power up over there. <laughs> Just keep moving. Because they take experience. Or try and keep moving anyway. They're like dead cheap cheeps. Uh, this was... experience. I'll take it. And I'm not sure, is there a reason that the experience... is it points? Is that why it's P? Because I feel like a bag of P would be a bad experience. 